Hi everyone, welcome back to Swiss Home Garden, Chitra here. In this video, I will be taking you along our August garden and harvest. Let's begin our tour from the front yard. Our roses are having a second season in blooming. It's not as much as I could harvest during the month of June. We didn't really do much for the roses, but during the autumn months, we will be cutting them down. So next year we have even more of them. Over the edge of the slope towards the border of the property, we had planted a few gladioles a few years back, but they were not so regular in flowering. This year we have a few more than the previous years. A couple of years back we had none and the berries next to it are the aronia berries. This year we can harvest probably a couple of pawpaw fruit from a pawpaw tree. We came back from the Netherlands last week, just before the weekend and we came to an overgrown lawn and overgrown garden. The robot had got stuck one of those days and there was nobody to fix it and put it back in order. So the grass was also really overgrown. A couple of days after I shot this video, my husband cleared up quite a lot of these bushes so we give a little bit more light to our elderberry bushes which is close by. These are the blueberry bushes and we could harvest a couple of berries. And in our herb garden, it's also looking very wild. All our neighbors are out on holiday so no one is there to take care. Moving on to the herb garden, in the smaller bed you can see some calendula flowers. I didn't plant them but they were planted last year and I guess some of the seeds have started to germinate by itself and we have a few calendulas. And beside it is wild strawberry. This wild strawberry was given to me by a good friend and they fruit throughout the season until November. But it's not as much of an yield but we are able to harvest now the small little tiny strawberries. This is the other herb garden. These yellow flowers are from rucola. Beside it, we also have some other herbs like some oregano and thyme. But we'll have to first trim this to find the other one. On the other side of the garden, we had planted some string beans and some salads. The salads are long finished. We cannot really harvest anything anymore. They are bitter like anything. These are our overgrown salads in the salad bed. Over the weekend, my husband cleared up this bed to plant for the next season. We are getting now and then a couple of zucchinis and this is one which had to be harvested because it had already overgrown. Let's move on to the greenhouse. In the greenhouse, we had planted tomatoes and cucumbers and plants like aubergines and chilies, but none of them are really doing that great. Despite planting the tomatoes inside the greenhouse, they have not done that well because we had so few sunny days this year. And the last couple of days just before we returned, it did get warmer and the plants need to be watered and somebody has to switch on the snip and drip irrigation system and that was a little bit impossible. 
although our friend popped in one of these days and he did water something but it was not enough somehow because it was really hot just before we returned these cucumbers are the salad cucumbers which you could pickle but they are a little bit overgrown and during our absence they have doubled in size these cucumbers are good for fermenting and also for pickling and i think i will have to pickle a few we'll have to pick them up earlier these are a little too big for pickling so the next harvest hopefully we can have the right size to pickle them there are a lot of flowers in the cucumber creeper but not all of them are fruiting We love this variety of tomatoes and this is the long one. I think in Italian it is called Longobardi. They are quite fleshy and also sweet. This savoy cabbage was planted last autumn and during the spring months we didn't really harvest all of them and this didn't really pop up at that time this is the only one we can harvest now the others are long dead and they started to flower so let me see how it tastes but i don't expect too much of a taste from it and never plant mint on the ground we are invaded by mint all over the bridge and below the bridge and we don't really have much time to process them so i will make some mint water and try to dry them and make some mint tea mint infused water is great during the summer months with a little bit of lemon and some cucumbers We planted some sunflowers 4 years back and after that we didn't plant any so they come every year on their own this year there were not too many luckily because usually they take away the light from the other plants With this I end my video I am working on a few other videos which I will try to post when I get the time Thank you for watching if you're new to my channel kindly subscribe I post one new video every week on food from scratch, Swiss country living, gardening and natural recipes. See you in my next video. Bye bye.